the Western Athletic Conference and the Mountain West Conference. Tostitos Fiesta Bowl getting an earful and an eyeful with these two. First quarter, Andy Dalton's pass picked by Brandon Thompson. TCU defense gives up just 12 points per game. Offense just gave up seven. 51 yard return at seven nothing. We go second quarter. Under a minute to go on the half. TCU down 10 nothing. Dalton. Deep left side to Curtis Clay, who runs the slant and go, beats Thompson, 30 yards, so it's 10-7 and a half. Just the second time the Horned Frogs have trailed at half this season. Fourth quarter, we're tied at 10, fourth and nine. Boise State at its own 33, and there goes Chris Peterson again. Kyle Brotsman, the punter, throwing to Kyle Efa, the tight end, 29-yard game, and somewhere Bob Stoops is grabbing an antacid. Here's why, 07 Fiesta Bowl. Boise State runs the hook and ladder, lateral, touchdown in the fourth quarter, and then the Statue of Liberty play for the game-winning two-point conversion in overtime. Right there to Ian Johnson, and then he runs up into the stands, proposes to the cheerleader. They're still married. They, Hollywood couldn't write a script. Now look at look at Efa, 80 right there. Brotsman, his high school coach was a former B Boise State quarterback, Mike Verdon. Efa open. TCU coach Patterson said, hey, man, we knew about that play. They just outcoached us on it. About four plays later, Doug Martin up the middle, leaps in for the touchdown. Boise State up 17 to 10. All right, under six minutes to go. Dalton's got Antoine Hicks, and Antoine has got a case of the drops. Looks like he jumped too soon. And you got to give it up to defensive coordinator Justin Wilcox for Boise State. His daddy, Dave Wilcox, Pro Football Hall of Fame, 49ers. He had his defense channeling his daddy in this one. TCU could not run the ball. Dalton right there, that's out of bounds. TCU came into this game rushing over 250 yards per game. They went for 36 in this game. Now you got the punter against Brotsman after Boise State's gonna have to give it up. It's under a minute and a half to go. And man, that is a Fiesta Bowl bounce right there. So now they've got to go 99 yards, but 25 touchdown drives in two minutes or less for this TCU team, second best in the FBS. You got a penalty flag on that, defensive pass interference, so 15 yards. 36 seconds to go. Dalton to Jeremy Curley. Looks like they're playing a little prevent. All of a sudden, the Boise State faithful getting a little nervous. 29 seconds to go, left side. It's intended for Hicks. Thompson tips it, and Winston Venable picks it. Dalton's third pick of the day. The tip drill works, and it seals the uh, Fiesta Bowl win for Boise State. 17 to 10 is your final. Recognize the whack. You've been saying it. Second time in four years, Boise State wins the Fiesta Bowl. Uh, more the the Prosser Tosser, 23 of 39, 211 yards. Boise State 14 and 0. Ohio State national championship team in 2002. The only other squad to ever go. Chili for Miami got down to near freezing Tuesday night in South Florida, Georgia Tech. 11th ranked offense, Iowa 11th ranked defense, even matchup. Ricky Stanzi back in the lineup after he missed his last two games, had ankle surgery, and he had Marvin McNutt for the touchdown beat Gerard Tarrant there. Later in the quarter, same score, Stanzi to the sideline, completes to Colin Sandeman for the touchdown. Stanzi threw for 231 yards and two touchdowns, and Iowa attacking Tarrant again. Sandeman makes a quick move to beat him for the touchdown. Passing yards in the first quarter, Iowa 157, Georgia Tech zero, if you'll keep a score. But Tarrant will bounce back, second to seven for Iowa. Watch him at the bottom of the screen. Stanzi telegraphs that one, and Tarrant takes it all the way back for the touchdown. Georgia Tech down 14-7. Now, Iowa under Kirk Ferentz had never faced a triple option. That's when Paul Johnson runs with Georgia Tech. Josh Nesbitt back to pass here, under pressure sacked by Carl Klug. Georgia Tech would have to punt. End of the second quarter, Nesbitt again under pressure. Adrian Claiborne comes up with the sack. Now, Georgia Tech, 32 total yards in the first half. They had 33 plays that long this season. They punted six times in the first half, and they started the game with three three and outs after having 14 all season coming in. Third quarter, they get something going. Jonathan Dwyer, he carries the mail for them to the 35-yard line, 15-yard gain, but they ran for just 143 yards, less than half their season average. Field goal attempt, Scott Blair, 41 yards away. No, sir. So Georgia Tech comes up empty on that drive. Fourth quarter, they mount another one. Nesbitt. There goes the triple option, and he'll keep it himself. 11 yards there. Same drive, third and goal from the one. Anthony Allen will finish the job, and it's a ball game. 
17-14 at that point with 12 and change to go in the ball game. Later in the fourth, Iowa trying a 21-yard field goal. They fake it, but it's way too late in the bowl season for trick plays to work, and well, they're not Boise State. Daniel Murray tracked down, and Georgia Tech takes over. Now, first and 10 for Georgia Tech. Not really sure what Dwyer was thinking here. He's try by, just trying to make a play for his team, but he's going the wrong way. Nearly winds up in his own end zone. Gets it out to the one, but it's an 11-yard loss. Georgia Tech would have to punt two plays later. Iowa's next possession, Brandon Wager. This is a game he'll never forget. Takes it in for the touchdown from 32 yards away, and Iowa rolls 24-14. Wager, 113 yards on 18 carries. Season lows just about everywhere for Georgia Tech in points and total yards as Iowa makes sure the wreck BCS title game, then we are in for quite a meal. GMAC Bowl, Central Michigan and Troy. Central Michigan down two scores. Let's see how fast Antonio Brown runs the 95-yard dash. <laughs> Beat the kicker there at the end, and Central Michigan is down five. Troy's forced to punt, and you know what? I got a Lefevre that this night's going to be a good night for Lefevre. Dan Lefevre to Brian Anderson who's got good hands, two-point conversion as well. Central Michigan up three. Levi Brown, 387 yards passing. Downfield, Michael Taylor, 46-yard field goal. It's good, we went to overtime. We had 19 points in the first half. We had 85 points after that. Central Michigan gets it first, and I'm not gonna sing again, but it's a good night for Lefevre. 395 yards passing, 57 running. Chippewas up a touchdown. Troy's turn on offense, and Sean Southward goes up and south. And we're tied at 41. Bartender, double shot. Troy gets the ball first. 31-yard field goal blocked. And that opens the door for the Chippewas and Andrew Agula. Five field goals. This one, the biggie. 36 yards. It's good. Central Michigan, 44-41. From the back to the Mac Daddy.